A question that always frustrates people trying to lose weight is, what is the best side out there? What is the best way to lose weight and keep it off? Anyone who's ever had issues dropping or maintaining body weight has probably tried numerous fad diets over the years with varying levels of success and has probably swung back and forth with trying to keep that weight off. Here, I try and answer the question of what is the best diet for humans from a perspective of longevity and healthy aging. In my experience, people generally possess the right attitude and motivation to want to make a change to their bodies but lack the knowledge to execute it correctly. This lack of knowledge usually makes a diet plan unsustainable in the long term and likely setting it up for failure. And this failure can further impact your mindset to ever want to try dieting ever again. The average person starting a new diet usually starts aggressively on a path trying to do too much, too fast and all at once with changes to their eating and lifestyle habits. Attempting to completely change how you normally operate isn't sustainable and can easily spell disaster. We've all tried losing weight multiple times over numerous New Year's resolutions with minimal success and unsatisfactory results. The biggest issue I see isn't that people aren't able to lose the weight, it's that the weight they do lose, they simply aren't able to keep off. Hi, I'm Rishi and thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm a practicing nutritionist with a background in human physiology and nutritional sciences. I use food as medicine to optimize one's nutrition via sustainable behavioral changes to promote longevity and healthy aging. So if you're looking to hack your health span and become the best version of yourself, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon so you don't miss anything. You need to work out and eat well and do it over a long period of time. You need to be consistent. To get this consistency, modification of behavior is required. Consistency is fundamental and to create it, you must change your habits and create new ones. This ability to embrace challenges is all part of the process. Those who've lost weight and managed to keep it off often say they had to form a new identity. I'm often asked what nutrition camp I fall into, and I always say, nothing specific. The human brain loves categorization. I don't believe there's a single, absolutely, positively, without a doubt, best diet for every person to follow, always and forever. Here's the deal. Maintaining a healthy weight is 90% about what you eat and when you eat it and not how much you eat. I consider myself being nutritionally agnostic. This is the philosophy that people have different nutritional needs. So the question of what is the best diet is theoretically a scientific one. So there should be no room for opinions or beliefs. If diet A is better than diet B, then a study that compares the two on enough people should prove that definitively, right? What is also clear is that if the best diet does exist, we haven't found it yet. The incidence of diet-related disease has increased dramatically in the past several decades, and you might think it's simply because people don't follow dietary guidelines properly. So, is asking what the best diet is even the right question? Is it dependent purely on food and not the person eating it? What about the differences in our genetics, lifestyle, activities, and gut microbiome that makes each of us respond differently to food? What about the differences in our metabolic efficiencies and how each of our bodies partitions the nutrition it ingests differently? What if these differences explain that some diets work for some people, but not for others? What if our nutrition needs to be customized for our unique makeup while not trying a one-size-fits-all approach to diets? This is the question that needs to be asked. The cool thing about nutrition is that you get to pick what you sacrifice. You should pick a form of restriction which feels easiest to you. Personally, getting to eat whatever I want but controlling portion size, frequency and ensuring I'm getting all of the right nutrients feels easy to me. But this may seem harder to others. Conversely, if you ask me to give up carbs or animal products completely, then that is very difficult for me. But for someone else to be keto or vegan might be just the adherence they need to achieve their goals. Just because eating intuitively works for me personally is quite arrogant for me to think that it'll work for everyone. If a specific nutrition style like paleo, vegan, keto, dash or fasting has worked for you in the past, then that's great. You should be happy you found something that helped you achieve your goals. But to suggest that because it worked for you at one point in your life under a certain set of circumstances doesn't mean it applies to everyone all of the time. What may have worked for you in the past doesn't necessarily mean will work for you now. Your current lifestyle choices and patterns, the frequency and intensity of your activities, stresses and commitments in life 
all add up to dictate what plan will work best for you now. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Most diet styles have similar things in common. They all promote nutritional awareness and mindfulness with focus on quality while avoiding deficiencies. This is why choosing a single diet camp doesn't make sense. You need to find a plan that is flexible enough to accommodate the changes in your lifestyle and energy balance requirements. Because life happens. And if you need to work out all the time just for your plan to work, then your plan is not working. Our response to food is extremely specific and personal, so our dietary advice must also be specific and personal. This also shows why the current nutritional paradigm that searches for that one best diet is inherently flawed and why the best diet for humans does not exist. The human body can do well under different nutritional conditions and people have varying nutritional needs. Finding that optimal path may feel like it's always a work in progress. Long-term nutritional habits will always trump short-term diet plans and rules. Eventually, the best diet for you is the one that you can stick to and be consistent with. Consistency is vital and underrated. The diet you finally pick should 1. Fit your taste palate 2. Fit your lifestyle and activity levels 3. Be specific to your fitness goals and lastly, be sustainable for you. Generally speaking, focus on nutrient-dense, high-volume, low-calorie density whole foods rich in plants and fiber. I don't push to exclude any one category of food and like to keep everything in moderation, including moderation. Limit highly processed foods and refined sugars and watch out for hyperpalatable foods with no nutrient value that keep you constantly hungry and craving more food. Frequent consumption of these can wreak havoc on your digestion, gut microbiome, immunity and increase chronic inflammation levels in the body. And stop grazing through the day you're not a cow. In the end, you need to find a way of breaking the habit of being yourself just a bit. Thanks for watching this video. If you found value in the information I've shared, then please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Drop me a comment if you have any feedback for me. I'd really appreciate that.